Chapter 11, Mishnah 2. This Mishnah elaborates on the view of the sages in the preceding Mishnah. What is the case of the preceding Mishnah, in which a person transfers an item from one private domain to another private domain through a public domain and is exempt? If there are two balconies, each with the dimensions of a private domain, that face each other on opposite sides of the public domain, whether a person hands the item or throws it from one balcony to the other, he is exempt. The Mishnah contrasts the preceding case in which one is exempt for transferring across a public domain with the following case of transferring through a public domain for which a person could sometimes be liable. If both balconies were coming out of one upper story, that is, both were on the same side of the street, one who hands an item from one balcony to another is liable. But one who throws the item from one balcony to the other is exempt, because this was the way the Levim did their work in the desert. They set up two wagons, one behind the other, lengthwise in the public domain, and they handed the beams of the Mishkan from one wagon to the other along the length of the public domain. But they did not throw the beams from one wagon to the other. We therefore learn from their procedure that one who hands something from one private domain to another along the length of the public domain is liable. However, one who throws something along the length of the public domain is exempt, since there is no precedent in the work of the Levim to make this malacha. Levim to make this malacha. The Mishnah returns to the subject of transfers between a private domain and a public domain. The earth removed from a pit and piled around its edges like a wall, and a rock that are and a rock and a rock that are ten to fachim high and four to fachim wide are deemed as are deemed private domains. And one who takes an item from one of them and places it in the public domain, or one who takes an item from the public domain and places it on one of them is liable for transferring an item between private and public domains. If, however, the dimensions of the earth around the pit, plus the depth of the pit itself, or the dimensions of the rock are less than this, less than 10 tefachim high or 4 tefachim wide, then one who takes an item from them and places it in the public domain, or vice versa, is exempt because he did not transfer an item between a private and public domains.